So in part one, we uh, set up the gripper, set up the outputs from the robot, and connect them to the inputs on the gripper, and set up the targets. Uh, remembering that the target needs to be about one mil above the object for the actual gripper to uh, the suction gripper to uh, to work on it. Uh, in this part now, we're going to create a path which we'll use to pick the part up and drop it down, and maybe pick it back up again and drop it somewhere else. So using the two targets that I have here, select the two targets. Actually, I'm going to turn off the uh, view robot at target because the robot will just keep jumping around on me. Right click, add new path. And in the path here, I'm going to move from 10 to 20. I'm going to move back to, um, to 10 again. So add to path, last. I'm going to copy 20. Copy. I'm going to paste it. Let's create a new target. Let's call it 30. So target 30. And modify that target. I'll move it uh, maybe in the Y 100 mil or so. So let's go modify target, set position. And let's move it over there. Well, uh, maybe. 150 millimeters in the Y. Okay. Apply and close. So we're moving from point 10 down to 20, back to 10, maybe now go to 30. So add to path, last, go back up to 10, add to path, last. Back down to 30 to pick up the piece. So back up to 10 again. Back down to 20. And back up to 10. Okay, so at the moment we're not actually picking up uh, anything, uh, but if I go to Pat here, move along pat. We should be going from 10 up, down, up, down. Perfect. Okay. Um, just before we go any further, I'm going to set the uh, the resolution and so on on these. So, Going to modify my instructions. So edit instruction, change the velocity to 100, and I'm going to change the zone to fine. Apply and close. Right click here and right click. Configuration, auto configure. Perfect. So now all we need to do is add some action instructions. So right click, insert action instruction. And there's basically two action instructions I need here. Turn on the gripper and turn off the gripper. So it's signal digital output, gripper, and number one to turn it on. Create. Same again, signal digital output, gripper, and zero to turn it off. Create. Now, close. Okay, so we're going to move from 10 down to 20. We need to turn on the gripper here. Then we move back to 10 down to 30. We need to turn off the gripper. No, that didn't work. copy this one again then we move back up to 10 back down to 30 and we turn off the gripper back to 10 or 
sorry, turn on the gripper, back up to 10, back down to 20, and then we need to turn off the gripper. Copy and paste. Okay. So this 10 here needs to be up at the top. Okay, so from 10 down to 20, group for on, back up to 10, down to 30, group her off. Back up to 10, down to 30, group her on, back to 10, down to 20, group her off, back to 10. Okay, we'll go right click, move along part. Robot descends down onto it, grip her on, picks the part up. Back down again. Perfect. Now you may improve the program by putting the uh, or changing the the resolution and the zones. For example, the um, when I move from 10 to 20, I need it fine. But when I move back up to the 10 here, if I edit this instruction, change the zone. Let's put it up to 150. Apply and close. Uh, you will see the difference. It doesn't go back up here to 10, but it will round off the uh, the corner, and that will improve the motion of the robot. I'll just run that again. I'll right click here, move along path. So note the difference. So we descend down to 10 or to 20, and when we come back up, it will round off this corner. Okay, so that's about it. Once you have the grouper set up, you can start picking pieces up, dropping them off anywhere you want. It's just a matter of modifying the uh, the pat and including more points and so on to make it slightly more sophisticated. Okay, thanks very much.